Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we are doing a Fashion Nova haul. I do have some information on shipping and customs that you might want to check out that I'm going to put in the description instead of talking about because I know you guys get annoyed when I talk at the beginning of videos. I'm also going to put in a little like sizing chart with my own measurements and some sizes in other popular brands to help you guys in these hauls to pick your size if you're interested in any of the items that I try and let's get started. So the first item that I'm going to pull out are these jeans. I pulled them out of the package already so you didn't have to listen to it. Um, they're called the Heaven Sent Skinny Jeans and I got them in a size 9, 10. Um, I'm really hoping that they're going to fit. I think they look like they'll fit and they're really, really stretchy, which is really good. These jeans were super affordable. They were only like $21 and they seem to be super popular. It hit the notify me when available and they like are out of stock and then they're in stock for like 24 hours and then they're all out of stock again. So if you like these and you want them and they're in stock, buy them as fast as you can. I feel like in my mind, if I buy Fashion Nova clothes, I will look like a Fashion Nova model and then I put them on and I'm like, this is a scam. Alrighty, so we're starting with the jeans. I decided to wear my snakeskin top. It's from Sheen, by the way, but you can get it cheaper on Romwe. Just a little tip. Um, has nothing to do with this video. But anyway, I have the jeans on. Um, I think they fit all right. I feel like they're really, like, baggy, kind of, like, in the crotch area and, like, the upper thigh. But, like, the waistband is almost a little bit too tight. So I'm wearing this snakeskin top, and it's kind of long, so I have it tucked in. And I feel like you can see every spot where the shirt, like, wrinkles up or, like, rolls up a little bit. So they also like they're a little bit baggy at the uh, ankle area but most jeans are because I am only five foot one and I have really short legs so I really I just don't think Fashion Nova is the brand for me to purchase jeans from just because they are tighter in the waist and then they're baggier like kind of in the hip area and I'm not shaped like a Fashion Nova model so I should have expected that but I was just kind of curious to see how they fit so yeah I like them I won't dock them points for that because I guess it just doesn't suit my body type and that's okay but I do still really like them and I'll still wear them Alrighty, so next is the Know Your Worth satin top. Oh my goodness, I love this top so much, you guys. I would never buy something like this. I feel like these type of things, like, don't match my face. Like, fancy, pretty tops just don't go well with my face. <laughs> um, also, these, like, little, like, boob things. I have a very flat chest, and sometimes these look stupid on me. So I'm just hoping that this looks okay. I was just like, it's worth it. I'm praying it looks good on me. So I have the satin top on and I'm getting really upset because I love this top so much. I love the sleeves. I think it's like the prettiest color. It's so shiny and silky and it looks like fancy, like expensive in my opinion. But I'm doing something wrong because the sleeves are like overly too big um i don't know if this is just because i don't like i do have a cup boobs so i don't know if it's just supposed to be like quite a bit more stretched out in the chest area and that's why it's not fitting me because the waist fits me completely fine and i looked it up and it's definitely not supposed to be like this the only way i can make it look like the picture is hold on if i just tuck it into my tank top i have on underneath and then like Kinda. We're getting somewhere, kinda. I give it a 10 out of 10 because I'm guessing I'm either wearing it wrong, like if you guys have this shirt and I'm supposed to be wearing it differently, there's no buttons that I'm missing, no zippers, no nothing. I did try to tie it up, but it just like scrunched the entire shirt up and it didn't make this part tighter, just this part, so that didn't really help. But yeah, I don't know. I'm sorry that my chest has so many scratches because I've like tucked this in like a thousand times and scratched it, but Anyway, moving on. I really like it. I like the lace. I love the tie up part. I love the sleeves so much. These are a little bit too big in the wrist, like, so they don't stay, but I don't mind that too much. So the thing is, I got a small in this. I have never once worn an extra small top in my life. So if I'm an extra small in this, like if this is just too big, then I just don't see this fitting too many people. You know? You know what I'm saying? Alrighty, so next is this like plain black top. It's called My Favorite Henley Top. I really like shirts like this with the buttons on top. I think they're super cute. I find that they like, like flatter my body for some reason. Like when I tuck these into jeans compared to regular long sleeves, if that makes sense. Like I don't know why, I can't really explain it. I just do. I really like shirts like this and it has like really stretchy material, but this shirt looks tiny and I don't know if it's gonna fit me. Alrighty guys, so as you can see, I have the black top on. I'm absolutely in love. This one definitely fits true to size because it fits like a glove. I love it so much. And a lot of the time when I do get shirts like this and they fit tightly, I can't like move my arms because I have like broader shoulders and then like the shoulder area is just way too tight but this shirt is like perfectly stretchy and like 
nice and movable, nice and breathable. I really, really like this one. So I do give it a 10 out of 10 because I always wear tank tops under my tops, so this doesn't really matter too much to me, but you can obviously see through a little bit. So you need to wear something under it. Unless you're cool with everyone seeing your bra, then you're good, I guess. This is the next top. It's like this lime green fluffy sweater. I haven't checked the material on the inside yet, and I'm just like praying that it's fuzzy on the inside. Okay, so this is the only critique I'm gonna give so far. What in the world is the point of a fluffy sweater if it's not soft on the inside? Like, it's like, okay, at least it's not that like itchy fabric that is always in fuzzy sweaters. It feels like soft enough, but it's not this. And this is what I wanna feel like. I'm gonna have to like wear this inside out or something. Anyway, I like the color of it. I feel like this was really cheap. I can't remember exactly how much it was, but I feel like it was a super cheap sweater. It is so soft. I got it in an extra large, so it is going to be oversized. I always like oversized hoodies. I will say the zipper is a little bit annoying. The fuzzies are like coming off really easily in some spots and they keep getting stuck in the zipper, but I still really like it and I will go try it on for you. Okay, so I have the sweater on. I don't know if I'm supposed to have it done up all the way or like undone down to here and like fold it down. But I like it done up all the way because a lot of times my foundation doesn't match because I'm really bad at figuring out what shade to get. So it's like, now you guys can't tell and I don't have to blend it down to my neck. So that's a plus. Um, the fabric on the inside is pretty soft, even though it's not the same as the outside because the outside is like really, really soft. I really like the outside of it. The inside is like just normal sweater fabric. I know that sometimes these sweaters have like a weird itchy fabric on the inside but this one doesn't so that's obviously good i will say that for an extra large i think it fits pretty small like it almost fits like a medium to large on me i feel like it's not super loose um it still like goes in at the waistband like it's not like baggy or anything like that so i guess that's something to consider if you really like oversized sweaters like i do because this one is not as oversized as other ones i've gotten in the past but that's not a huge like downer because i still really like it it still fits loosely and it's still cute i give it like an like a seven out of 10, because I really wish the fabric on the inside was soft. And then if it was just like slightly bigger and this fabric on the inside, 10 out of 10 for sure. I really like it. I love the color. It's super comfortable and it's cute. So next, I just got some gray joggers. So here they are. They are a very thin material, like a very stretchy, like t-shirt material, if you can see that. Um, and I just wanted to say, I'm the person who size up, sizes up like quite a bit in jogging pants and then ties the waist because I like them to be baggy but you can't do that with these pants because these strings are just for show like they're literally it's like just one continuous string it's like sewn on <laughs> in the middle to the front of the pants I'll show you so I mean I guess that's fine if you don't plan on tying them up I do think that's a little weird if anybody knows why they would do that if it's just to save money or like what I just think that's kind of a really big downer for jogging pants because if you're like me you buy giant jogging pants and tie them up so although I don't think I did size up that much in these ones luckily yeah these ones are only a medium so I'm sure they're gonna fit just fine let's hope <laughs> Alrighty, so sweatpants time. I love these sweatpants. They are so comfortable. They're really thin and like airy, which is kind of nice in the summer. Like I really like them a lot actually. And I didn't like that the string can't be tied up. The waistband is actually pretty tight on these sweatpants. So it's not a huge problem, but definitely if you're smaller than me, it might be. I also feel like they're not as like casual as other sweatpants. I don't know how to explain it, but like I feel like in most sweatpants, I always wear sweatpants because they're comfortable, but I feel kind of like 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 a bum like I don't want to be offensive saying that but you know what I mean it's just like not you don't feel super cute in them but I feel like with these ones they don't look bad at all if I wear them with a hoodie I feel like all right in them like I don't feel the same as other sweatpants I don't know how to explain it but anyway it's a positive so just take it as a good thing Alrighty, so last but not least, I thought I ordered way more stuff than this, but I guess I kind of went crazy when I realized how much I love doing hauls and ordered from every site I could possibly find, and this one ended up being one of the smaller hauls, but that's okay because most people don't make it to the end of my videos anyway, so it's like, what's the point in buying so much stuff, right? <laughs> Life hack. Anyway. This is the sweater. It's from Active USA. This is the only one that doesn't have like a Fashion Nova tag on it. Um, it's actually pretty thick. It was said that it was the shade Charcoal, which was the same shade as the jogger. So that's why I bought it because I thought I could wear them together. But then I realized after I already checked out, I could have bought one of their sweatsuits for like way cheaper. But I didn't do that. I bought the item separately and it's okay. So here's the sweater again. I got it in a size large. I actually think it's really nice. I didn't think I was going to like a v-neck sweater, but I think it looks kind of cute. I'm excited to try it on. It's really, really 
stretchy and it's so soft. I really like it. It feels pretty good quality and I think this was actually pretty cheap. I can't remember though. Alrighty, so obviously this one isn't like overly special. I like it though. It's really comfortable, really stretchy, really breathable. I like the fabric. It's really soft and I really like the way it fits actually because I did get it in a large and even though I'm not super comfortable wearing like tighter clothes, you know, sometimes I just don't feel like wearing like a 3XL like I normally do. So it's nice to have something that like fits loose like this but isn't like overly huge and also like the waistband is still like tight enough that it like wraps around my waist instead of just hanging there so I kind of like that as well. I give it like an 8 out of 10. The only reason I don't give it a 10 out of 10 is because I feel like I look stupid in v-neck sweaters but that's not their fault but whatever. Alrighty guys so I guess that's everything I have for you guys. I hope you guys enjoy it. I hope you have a good day. Let me know any stores that you would like me to check out and yeah I am still doing hair extension reviews so you can recommend those still but my theory is that hair extensions are on the very low of the very bottom of the totem pole when it comes to necessities right now and that's why none of them are coming in. Like a lot of my orders I placed like 30 days ago and they're still like stuck in customs so yeah I guess it is what it is and I will do them when they get here so I hope you guys have a good day and I love you. Bye!